Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I had a special request from Faye to make a wire wrapped angel pin. I'm using 24 gauge silver artistic wire. I have seed beads, 12 millimeter pearl beads, and a 1 inch straight pin back. I'm using the Glimmer Series Nipper Tool from Beadalon, their chain nose pliers, and their round nose pliers from the Slimline Series. So I'm going to start by taking three markers and I'm going to actually wrap the 24 gauge wire around the markers. You can actually work straight from the roll if you're not sure what length to do. And you can wrap it around however many times you want to make the skirt and the head of the angel. So just keep wrapping it around. You can do anywhere between six and eight times. And then we're going to remove it, holding the wires together. And what we want to do now is hold either end and give it a little twist. Just twist it around and it looks like an infinity sign. So now we're going to take the end of the wire and wrap it around a few times. This will be sort of at the neck area. And then we're going to stick one of the wires straight up and put a bead on it. So I'm using a 12 millimeter pearl bead and then we're going to take the end of the wire and wrap it through all of those wires at the top of the bead. Take your chain nose pliers to give it a good little tug and bring the wire straight up. So now we have that end sticking out and you can actually push the wires around the back of the bead just to spread them out behind the angel. Now we're going to spread the loops that form the skirt of the angel. So just by hand you can just spread those wires out until you're happy with how they look. So we're just going to bring them straight out like that. Looks like a skirt and adjust it so the head sits up straight. And from there we're going to form the wings. So we're going to take a marker and we're going to bring the wire around and we're going to form a kind of infinity sign for the wings. So bring the wire around and with the same marker we're going to bring the wire around so the wings are the same size. So just keep going back and forth to create the infinity sign formation that makes the wings. Just hold the marker in there, bring it around over to the other side, bring the wire out. I actually cut my wire, but like I said, you can work off the roll if you're not sure how much wire you're going to need. Depends on how many loops you make. So we're going to go back and forth until we have as many as we want. So I did about three on each side for the wings and you'll see after you can do more if you want to make arms. So we're going to go back and forth. Take your time with it. You want them to be more or less the same size. And then from there we can just take the wire around to secure the wings in place. And just keep bending it around so they're firmly in place and adjust them as you need. And then from there we'll do the halo. So we're going to bend the wire over at an angle and then we're going to put some seed beads on there. So these are sort of translucent beads and then we're going to form it into a kind of oval shape to make the halo. Just bring it around, try to make it even and then we're going to attach it in place and bring that end of the wire around to secure it in place. You can wind it around a few times if you like. Adjust the halo and bend it towards the front. Squeeze it in a little bit. Pinch it. Adjust it so it fits nicely above the head. 
Now from there we want to attach the pin back. I'll link up where you can purchase the pins in the description below the video and we are going to attach it just below the halo there with the end of the wire and we're just going to bring the wire through a few times. Make sure you go through it a few times so it's nice and solid. I like these straight pins. They don't look as bulky as the bar pins. I actually bought a lifetime supply of them about 30 years ago when I started making jewelry because I had to buy them wholesale from China and I had to buy a minimum of 10,000 pins. So I have lots. I've actually never seen them online. You can use your chain nose pliers to pull the wire around to make sure it's nice and snug. And then we can use the other wire to continue wrapping the pin so it's very securely in place. So just keep bringing the wire down towards the end of the pin. Give it a good little tug. And then we want to wrap it around the end of the pin so the pin doesn't flip back and forth. So just keep bringing that end around and around until we've used up the wire or until it's very secure. So bring it around and we want to make sure it's solid. So we just pinch and rotate to make sure it's nice and tight and secure. You'll see this kind of pin is perfect for wire work and I'll link up some other tutorials for wire brooches using these pins in the description below the video. And it just hooks in there. So there we have the pin all ready to go in place. So this is a simpler design which is the wings and no arms. And if you want arms, just do more loops where the wings are and then pull up two wires on either side, two of the loops. And then we can just pull at the loops to make them a little longer and narrower. So this is the same wire that we use for the wings. We just did a few extra so that we can make some arms. So just give them a good little tug so they're a little longer, a little narrower. Squeeze them in. The 24 gauge is quite soft and easy to work with. And then take those ends, the two wires together with your round pliers and bend them in. So that makes little hands. And if you want, you can also add beads to the wires for the skirt. The sky is the limit with this design. You can add little charms in the hands this is a great basic design for the angel pin. Or you can leave off the pin and make it into a pendant or an ornament to hang on the Christmas tree. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. You can get the templates in my Etsy DIY shop. Be sure to use the coupon code SAVE25 to save 25% when you purchase five or more templates, tutorials, or ebooks in my shop. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.